If not, just make sure she's all right. Do this for me, and we will talk politics again. I'll do my best, but where do I start? Nella Vilcek. She sells food... Up top. The food court outside Seshadri Tower. I'm sorry, but yeah, I know Nella. She's a friend of mine. It's incredibly weird. No coincidence. No story. I guess you were the right person to ask, Castle Dweller. Hannah mentioned some odd jobs she'd done for Miss Vilcek. I don't know the details. I'm guessing deliveries. I'll start with Nella. I'll let you know when I know more. Thank you, Miss... Queenie will do. I left my old name behind somewhere. I had no use for it anymore. She look it's weird that she doesn't want to use her real name. She said there are so many lost people out there. It's what did you mean you left your old name behind? Names are like clothes. Sometimes you grow out of them. I always thought names were more important than that. Maybe so, maybe so. Mine wasn't. Mine was used up. It reminded me too much of my past, so I changed it. There have been many. A whole closet full. So, before... No, Zoe. I'm Queenie. That's all there is to it. Now run along. I have work to do, and so do you. Thanks for stopping by. Are you reading what you read? I don't know. I just, I'm not really into the whole Red Bear culture thing. Man! I got a hand! I'm going to Seshadri Tower. That tallest tower in all of Pro Pass. That'd be right here, sweetheart! I hope you get to where you're going. It's and if you ever get lost again, it. you know Crow Boy's got your back. I'm not sure what he thought would agree. I really don't... Uh, I'm not her, whoever she is. Yes, you were in my dream. You told me it'd be all right, and it was. You helped me wake up. You're mistaken. I don't even own a dream machine. I couldn't possibly have been in your dreams. It was you. You were there. I don't use it much anymore. The dream machine. Most of the time, I say no, just like you told me to. I read instead. I'm reading a lot. The book I'm reading right now is about this girl who's dreaming, but doesn't know she's dreaming. I'm worried about Mum. She's always in dream time. She prefers that to being awake. She doesn't eat much, or go outside, ever. Thank you for helping me. Uh, Zoe, right? Thank you, Zoe. How, how do you... I didn't... What? What the hell was that all about? I don't know her, do I? She looked so familiar, but I haven't, I haven't seen her before. I'm certain of it. Gone to restock, back soon. Odd. Nella doesn't typically leave her cart during peak business hours. She usually restocks first thing. I still have no idea where to find Nella. Perhaps she left a note or something. Gone to restock, back soon. Odd. Nella doesn't... Gone to rest. Odd. Food crates. It's how Nella gets her daily deliveries.
Oh, hey, there's an address on the back. The Collective on Caprova. I'm a root I'm here. The Umin uh, Where on the map is Caprova? Why, that's a pretty scary neighborhood, doll. Keep your eyes peeled and your hands on your six shooters. Draw! Don't be a straight. It's between Wolf and Ominska, isn't it? Gross and There's no way you can convince me that Kaiser Constantine... Do you really have to call him that? Yeah, screw the career, the campaign of my boyfriend. It's party time for Zoe. No. Look, Adsy, I said I'd do my part. That is exactly what you said. But I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm all about shifting the balance of power, huh? About getting the Bonza to think twice. Not about fucking shit up just for the sake of fucking shit up. That's not what I signed up for. I want to pick up my supplies and get back to feeding the barrio. If I can convert some sozies and pattern heads while I'm at it, great. If not, I move on. That don't sound like someone's committed to the cause. Oh, fuck off. I'm delivering as promised, no? I'm getting a friend to source me the nanotech. She has special access, a couple of days, week at most. But with the eye poking into my affairs, committing random acts of personal violation, drones and checkpoints everywhere, time to tread a little more cautiously, lest we find ourselves bereft of food cart, food and freedom. Anything else you need me for, brother, I'm all game. I remember you saying you'd walk the walk, not just talk the talk. I need to draw my line somewhere, and this is where I draw it. Whatever. As long as you deliver. Colo, seriously, when do I not? Puta Dupek, what are you doing here? I was just... you weren't at the cart, so I went looking. You went looking? Are you spying on me, Zike? Jesus, and Sparnella, no, I wanted to ask you about Hannah Roth. Hannah? Hannah? What the hell for? I need to find her. That doesn't answer my question, and you won't find her. She's... Shaiza, just stop. Stop looking, stop asking, and stop following me. This is not something you want to get involved in. Just let it go, and go. Get out of here. You're not going to find Hannah, and you're not going to ask me about her again. Go! Get the fuck out of here! I'm here to... The... Where's the Propass? Salam Shalom! Don't be a street. Pardon me, miss. Didn't see you there. There's absolutely nothing I would want in there. Weren't you heading out to district this week? Yeah, but the I revoked my travel pass last minute.
Mr. London ain't too happy with how you're messing about in his barrios, how's he? <sighs> Easy, cousin. I ain't I'm your not... cousin, mate. I ain't your mate, neither. Mr. London says you ain't never asked for his blessings, Colo. Mr. London, he ain't too happy about that, him. Mr. London says it's disrespectful. Tell Mr. London that I'm not messing with anything. I'm just running a political campaign. Maybe if we could have a civil discussion about this, instead Oi, of... Oi, Essie! You talk to me, not to Mr. London. No one talks to Mr. London. And there's no discussion to be had. We have no use for your commie comrades in protest. In this barrio, we vote Wolf. Oh, I see what's going on. This isn't about TEF or respect, is it? It's about Kaiser Constantine and his fascia. Hey! Let him go! Wait, what was that me? Otherwise, don't get involved, Suka. You just get your fresh messed up. Wouldn't look too good with a broken piff, huh? I didn't understand any of that, but if you don't let him go, I'm calling the police. The pala? Shice a minute. You think the police are gonna interfere? Do you know who this is? This is Mr. London. And he owns the bullet in Propast. Now fuck off before I get total anger pissed and decide to. A godly hunker sang young. Yun to wai ku ke sang pan kyo mai. Ku mai mo hei. Ku mai kui ka. Yo yo yo. Ku li duo ke chun yo mian. Nei mian zhu zhu yo wai wai dai ke guan yan. Wo ge chen pai. Sang yan wa. 呢场坚固，无论乜嘢武器都签入，我以保护你不受任何伤害。我嘅长矛双人话，锋利无比，无论乜嘢一次就穿，将你嘅敌人即刻打倒喺地上。咁点可以啊？伟大嘅军人问道：你有一个乜嘢都无法刺穿嘅盾牌？同埋一個乜嘢都能刺穿嘅長矛，佢哋點樣可以同時存在 ？I don't speak Cantonese。商人攞起佢嘅盾牌同埋長矛，可唔可以同時存在並不重要。你個老閪，佢衝過去用長矛將軍人刺死啦，因為佢哋喺我手上。我話事。Just, just let him go. Please, he's harmless. And let that be a lesson to you, Kutas. This is Mr. London's barrio, and the sooner you get that through your cocoa, the less mal you'll need to deal with. Jesus, Baruti, are you okay? I think so. Thanks for speaking up, Zoe. I appreciate it. Although, I'm not sure it was the smartest thing to do. You're on his radar now. I couldn't just stand by and watch. Are you sure you're all right? I am. But I'm not going anywhere tonight. I'm just going to watch Leia stream not from the office. Do you need anything? You don't have to stay here by yourself, you know. I can stay, or you can come home with me. I'm fine, Sissy. Really. They were just trying to scare me. <laughs> Mission accomplished. They're not coming back. Not today, at least. We can worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. About Queenie and. Let's talk about that tomorrow too. Right now. Hey, I just want to sit down with a cup of hot tea and enjoy a rousing speech. I understand, but Baruti, please lock the door and ring if there's anything. I won't argue with you there. See you on Thursday, Sissy. Take care, Baruti. Hey. Oh, smells good. What are you making? Risotto. Come over here. Nice to see you too. I needed that. Why? What's going on? We had a real scare at the campaign office. What happened? 
Baruti got pushed around by Mr. London's goons and London himself. Jesus, is he okay? He's fine. He's probably fine. How about you? Are you okay? I'm okay. They didn't touch me. But you got involved? I had to. I couldn't just let them do that to Baruti. I really wish you'd stayed out of it. You don't know what those people are capable of. They're just cowards. Cowards with the might of the Syndicate behind them? Still just cowards. Look, I'll be okay. They wanted to scare Baruti. Nothing's gonna happen. They're not gonna come after me. About earlier. I'm sorry I pushed your therapy buttons. I didn't mean to pry. Don't worry about it, Rez. I was tired. I'm okay talking. Really. And I do feel better. It's helping? It's helping. Mostly because of you. Let's hope you don't change your mind after this risotto. How was your day? Not as interesting as yours. I published that bingo piece. Now I'm following up the leads on the clampdown. It's getting ridiculous out there. Everyone's on edge. I know the campaign work is important to you, but you need to be careful about getting involved in local affairs. Even Sully doesn't want us to write too much about what's happening here in Propast. If you stop reporting things because you're afraid of what will happen, you're censoring yourself. We need to pick our battles. Like that Mr. London business. He shakes businesses down, runs the local black market. Bad, sure, but not corporate level bad. Or Kaiser Constantine bad. I guess. I'm not happy about it either, but sometimes you need to let the small fish go in order to catch the bigger fish. I get that. Maybe I'm an idealist. We both are. But I'm also a realist. And I really wish you'd drop the campaign work. Hey, come over here and taste this. I don't like his tone, and it's not the first time we've had this argument. I don't like his tone, but it's not the first time we've had... I don't... What's the matter? Uh, nothing. I just... I know he doesn't understand why I'm volunteering. I can't say I understand it either. I wish you were more supportive. It's not even like you're that invested in the politics. I know you want to stay busy and... Stay busy? You think that's all it is? A distraction? I don't want you to end up getting hurt again. I, I spent a year thinking you might die. I don't... I don't... I don't want that again. You'd rather I sit at home and watch Euro trash? Look, I'm heading out for a bit. Feel free to eat without me. Don't just say you love me, show me. Don't just say you love me, show me. Don't just say you love me. Saga up to Magnus? Uh, sleeping? Playing? Plotting our downfall? I, I don't know. She's in a crib. <coughs> she's been suspiciously quiet. Good. That's good. And you're not listening to a word I'm saying. How's the story coming? Don't ask. All right. So when can I read it? Don't ask. All right then. Hey, is there anything you want me to bring back this time? Do we have to talk about that right now? I'm leaving tomorrow. Hey, what are you doing out of your crib? 
How did you pull that off? Let's get you back safe and sound. I don't like it when you leave. I worry when you leave. I thought the whole point of building this house was so that we wouldn't have to worry so much anymore. Oh, I'll always worry. But I'll always come back. This is our anchor. In time and space. In all worlds. Past, present, and future. You're starting to sound like a real estate agent. Recently renovated, low interest rates, unbound from space and time, never twice the same neighborhood, comes with one beautiful baby girl and a sexy, willing wife. Sexy, but not always so willing. Just focus on the stew, dear. You better let me read what you've written afterwards. Not a chance. Now, shush. Hey, Saga. Are you up and about? Does Papa know you're here? I don't think Papa knows. Don't worry. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> hey, baby, Mama's working. Give me a minute. One second, Saga. I'm just finishing this one sentence. Almost, almost. There. Right. What do you want? Did you want something? The door? You want me to open the door for you? I can do that. There you go. Now, don't go into the fireplace again and get ashes all over the place, okay? Where was I? Hello, Saga. You're growing so fast, little one. Soon you will talk and remember and see with other eyes. Eyes that can no longer see me. There's so much of me in you, sister daughter. I know you cannot understand me now, but I want you to know that I will watch you and protect you. Over time, our link will weaken and you will be blind to me, but I will still be right here. Tomorrow, in 10 years, for as long as you live. And at the end, my sister, my daughter, we will reunite. The circle will be complete. The world's rejoined, balance restored. The stories we will tell each other. I'll see you soon, my little saga. May the balance be with you always. Who are you talking to, Saga? What's all the babbling about? Is she in there? How in the stars did she get out? Magic, honey. It sounded like she was talking to someone. Hey, how did you go, baby girl? Did you sprout wings and fly? There's... There's someone else in the house, Magnus. I can feel it. I don't feel anything. Don't worry, Etta. No one but us could ever get inside. It's impossible. I hope you're right. I could have sworn there was somebody. Oh, oh. Papa's not the only one making stew.
Thank you.